Hey everyone, Vinayak here. This is Audio Array's new wireless microphone system. Let's check it out in this video. It's a simple box with the Audio Array branding here. 2.4 GHz for long distance recording. Works with cameras, camcorders, computers and smartphones. Basic features are marked on the sides and the back has the specs at a quick glance. Let's see what we get in the box. We have a manual. Wow, this is nice. We have a hard case. I wasn't happy with the Rhodes fabric cover. This is so much better. Opening it up, we have the microphone. One is the transmitter and the other is the receiver. An assortment of cables can be found above. And we have the lavalier microphone included. Camera audio cable, which is 3.5 to 3.5 mm. A cable for your phone. Your phone should have a 3.5 mm jack to be able to use it. USB A to dual USB C charging cable. I like this. And it's a decent length. Windmuff or Dead Cat as it's also called. Here are the transmitter and receiver. We can see TX and RX marked on them. The transmitter has a mic, a 3.5 mm port to use the included lavalier mic or even your own. We have the power button and it has two LEDs here. One to show the connection status and the other to indicate power. We have a USB C port on the side for charging. This clip allows us to clip the mic onto our shirt easily. On the receiver, we have a similar design with two LEDs on top. RX is marked on the top face. It has a USB-C port for charging. There's a power button here and the plus and minus buttons are to set the gain. We can set the gain as required on the fly and I like that it's granular and, and not just three settings as in the Rode Wireless Go. A 3.5mm port to connect to the camera. This clip here allows you to clip the receiver onto your camera or even slide it into a flash hot shoe connector. Turning the receiver on, the connection LED is blinking indicating that it's looking for a transmitter. Turn the transmitter on and it connects instantly as indicated by the steady blue light. Here's how the wind muff attaches to the microphone. This is a comparison of the Rode Wireless Go with the Audio Array microphone. Quite similar. So that was the quick overview of what we get in the box. Now for the main audio test. I am actually using this microphone to record the audio you are listening to right now. And it sounds pretty good. I am also recording on the ZV-1 which has the Rode Wireless Go connected to it. So now we can compare between the two. So let's first test the Audio Array. So this is the quality of the audio via the Audio Array wireless microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So this is the quality of the audio via the Rode Wireless Go. So testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. The audio array microphone sounds really good, especially considering the price. So next is the distance test. Uh, let's see how far I can go before there's any quality loss or the signal loss due to interference. I have the AC running over here, so you might be able to hear that noise. So let's start counting. One, two, three, four, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15, 16, 22, 23, 24, 25. See how good the quality is right now. I've also set the gain a little high, so there could be a little bit of noise or peaking happening. One thing visually, there is no indication on how much the gain is currently. And you'll have to monitor your audio levels before shooting. This is what is missing as compared to the Rode Wireless Go. As you can see the actual gain or the, level or the audio levels on the receiver itself. Let's also check how the wind muff would work. Um, this is if it's a standard wind, if I keep blowing on it, This is how it would sound. Now let's put the wind muff on. Okay, now I have the wind muff on. Let's do the same test. Hmm, I think I can see the levels over there. It is actually reducing the amount of noise that is coming by wind. I was quite excited in trying out this microphone as it costs considerably lower than the other brands that provide the same features. Distance wise it worked almost 200 feet away when in line of sight, half the distance when the transmitter was being obscured by my body, there was a loss of signal. And uh, sound quality is really good. I did add an EQ and also noise reduction as my room is a bit noisy. There are a few features that are missing which are more visual than audio related. How did you like the audio quality? Did it sound good? 
right now it's being recorded on the Rode Wireless Go, but the rest of the video was recorded on the audio array. And uh, make sure to comment below if you like the audio from the earlier part of the video. I also have the dual transmitter model, which I'll release the review of in a week. So that was the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.